Last class we have seen how Bassani became successful in achieving the right casket and winning Portia's love, which was a desire of both Bassanio and Portia. Bassanio's thought process we have already witnessed. According to him, appearances are deceptive. Therefore, he didn't choose neither gold nor silver casket. For him, appearances are always deceptive. This deception is being found in law, religion, and even with regard to the external appearance of the people. He says beauty can be purchased by weight or by um, money. He says he is being attracted by the simplicity of lead casket rather than the attraction that gold and silver has. Therefore, he chooses a golden casket, sorry, lead casket and wins the, uh, and, 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 and he gets uh, uh, the portrait of Portia, which says, which means that he is successful in choosing the right casket and thereby he describes the, po the beauty of the picture and uh, describes the beauty of po Portia compared to the picture of Portia. And we also have seen Graciano who takes permission from Bassanio to get married. And he reveals his love for Nerissa who is the attendant of Portia. And Bassanio gives permission to Bassanio, sorry, Graciano to get married along with his and Portia's marriage. And we have stopped when Bassanio reads the letter which he received from Antonio from Venice, seeing the destruction, sorry, seeing the um, change in the face of Bassanio while he was going through the letter. Portia understood that the, the content of the letter is not that happy. It is something disappointing. Therefore, she requests Bassanio to tell her what is the content of the letter. Therefore, Bassanio says, Bassanio, O oh, sweet Portia, here are few of the unpleasant words that ever blotted paper. He says, Dear Portia, these are some of the most unpleasant words that are ever put on black and white, that is ever written in the paper, according to him. Gentle lady, when I did first impart my love to you, I freely told you all my wealth I had run in my veins. He tells Portia that when first time he told or proposed his love for Portia, he had only told that all the wealth he has runs through his veins. That means that may not be owned by himself. I was a gentleman and then I told you true. And yet, dear lady, rating myself at nothing, you shall see you shall see how much I was a braggart. He says that, dear lady, when I told you that all the wealth I have is running through my veins, that is absolutely right, because you shall see how much I was a braggart. And you will see that how much I was exaggerating about my position. When I told you my state was nothing, I should then have told you that, that I was worse than nothing. So when, I, when Bassanio was exaggerating about his wealth, position and status in the society, in, in, the, in the Merchant of Venice, he should have actually revealed Portia regarding the real uh, that he was nothing in concerned with the wealth because whatever he has is because of Antonio. He took money from Antonio, thereby he seems to be very wealthy. For indeed I was engaged myself to a dear friend, engaged my friend to his mere enemy to feed my means. He says, I have turned, engaged myself to my dear friend. All that he has is being 
taken from his friend he has um, taken debt from his friend and in order to fulfill his needs that is to come to parliament and win portia's love he has even to uh, take taken money from the um, one of the um, uh, enemies of his dear friend antonio here is a letter lady the paper on the body of my as the body of my friend yes here is the letter letter my dear um, lady and this letter is considered to be body of my dear friend and every word in it is a, a gaping wound and wound issuing life blood and every word written in the letter is just like an open wound which is um, throwing out the life blood it is true is it true salarino so in order to confirm whether whatever is written in the letter is true he is unable to take it for granted and he wants the confirmation from salarino and so he is asking can i believe salarino whatever is written in the letter hath all his ventures failed has every ventures of him failed because antonio has sent many uh, ships to many different places like mexico england tripolis in this etc etc hasn't any of this be, uh, be uh, uh, successful in returning what not one hit hasn't one of the ships hit the point from tripolis from mexico and england and from lisbon barbary and from india so these are the places antonio ships are being set tripolis mexico england lisbon barbary and india and not one vessel escape the dreadful touch of merchant marine rocks has in one of the ships which are set in different places escaped from the rocks that can uh, that can destroy the merchant ships so this is the this this very uh, disappointing for uh, bassanio because he has never thought that antonio could be uh, antonio could become so uh, uh, antonio will have to face such a situation celerino besides it should appear that if he had present money no dis, uh, to discharge the jew he would not take it and the condition is condition is very worse ju- just right now because even if antonio has a lot of wealth with him the problem is that shylock is not ready to receive it he has no mind to take money from antonio in that case antonio has to uh, uh, face the bond so shylock is so revengeful that he needs the flesh from antonio's body never did i know a creature that did bear the shape of a man so keen and greedy to confound a man Salerino says he has ever seen in his life a man who is so greedy to destroy another man he piles the duke at morning and the night he is urging the duke every morning and night and doth impeach the freedom of the state even he uh, discredit the law of the nature he is forcing the law of the nature according to the law of the nature that uh, he should get the bond if they deny him justice twenty merchants the duke himself and the magnificos of the greater pot have all persuaded with him if the law of venice denies him he will persuade even the duke all the uh, great personalities of venice venice the merchants and the magnificos to accept his appeal but none can deny him from his envious play of the for feature of justice and his bond now none of these people can deny the request of uh, uh, shylock because they are bound to pay him they all have a soft corner for antonio but they are now helpless to save the life of antonio jessica 
When I was with him, I have heard him swear to Tubal and to church, his countrymen, that he would rather have Antonio's flesh than twenty times the value of the sum that he had of him. Jessica confirms that she also had heard when she was living with him to uh, tell uh, Shiloh telling to his friends like Tubal and Kuz, his countrymen, that even if Antonio pays 20,000, the value of the sum, the real value, value is 3,000 ducats. And even if Antonio is ready to pay 20 times the value of the um, 3,000 pounds which is being taken from uh, Shylock, he will not be ready, he will not take it, rather he will be insisting on taking the flesh of Antonio. Then he did up, and I know, my lord, if blow, authority and power deny not, it will not go hard with poor Antonio. If law and the authorities refuse Shylock's request, if they don't accept uh, the proposal of Shylock, then I will go hard with poor Antonio. It will be really bad. Okay, Shylock will be very bad with Antonio. He will definitely take the pound of flesh from Antonio's body. Therefore, Antonio's life will be under stake. Portia, is it your dear friend that is thus in trouble? Portia asked uh, uh, Bassanio whether this person, okay, whose letter now Bassanio reads, is the dearest friend of Bassanio or not. Bassanio, the dearest, dearest friend to me, the kindest man, the best conditioned and unwearied spirit in doing courtesies. Yes, he is none other than my dearest friend. He is the kindest man in the world, according to Bassanio. He is a, the best natured man who is never tired of doing favor for the people. And the one in whom the ancient Roman honor more appears than my dear, than any that draws breath in Italy. And to him, the most, uh, uh, most ancient uh, uh, honor is more suitable than any countryman in Italy. So what is the honor of the uh, 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 Roman? Roman honor? That is loyalty to friends and his country. So, um, he is the most uh, suitable person to receive the honor of the Italy, that he is very honor, very loyal, and he is uh, to his friends and his country. Okay, he is very loyal and to his, he is very loyal to his friends and to his country. Portia, what sum of he the Jew, how much money has to be paid to the Jew? Bassanio, for me, 3,000 ducats. Yes, he has paid 3,000 ducats for me. Portia, what? No more? Oh, only 3,000 ducats. No more. Pay him 6,000 and deface the bond. Okay, pay him 6,000 ducats instead of 3,000 and cancel the bond. Double 6,000 or then treble of that. He, she is even ready to give Bassanio double of 6,000 or even treble of that, that is 36,000. Before a friend of this description shall lose a hair through Bassanio's fault. Okay, so uh, uh, Portia is ready to pay uh, 20 times 3,000 ducats to save the life of Bassanio's friend before even a um, hair from Antonio's body is lost because of the fault of Bassanio. First, Go with me to the church and call me wife and then away to the Venice to your friend. So what should be done for that? First, go to the church and 
conduct the marriage and call Porsche, make Portia as Bassanio's wife. Thereafter, immediately leave towards Venice to save his friend. For never shall you lie by Portia's side with an unquiet soul, because Portia doesn't want uh, um, uh, Bassanio with with him, with her in his life in such a disappointing manner. Who is not at all happy? Who is distressed? You shall have gold to pay him pretty debt twenty times over. So after the marriage, Bassanio will be an owner of so much of gold through which he can pay even 20 times the value of the real amount that should be paid by Shylock. When it is paid, bring your friend, your true friend along. Now after completing all the um, uh, payment, being after, after being paid 3000 ducats or uh, 20 times the value of the amount that should be paid to Shylock. For the sake of Antonio, bring Antonio along with Bassanio to Belmont. That is a request of Portia to Bassanio. My maid Nerissa and myself, meantime, will live as maids and widows. So meanwhile, both Nerissa and Portia will remain just like widows until Bassanio returns. So along with Bassanio, Graciano will go. That is why it is said that Gracia, Nerissa and Portia will live, remain like maids and widows until both Graciano and Bassanio returns from Venice. Venice. Come away, for you shall hence upon your wedding day bid your friends welcome, show a merry cheer. Okay, he says, Come on, it is on the wedding day itself you will have to leave and welcome your friends to the house and be cheerful. Don't worry about the uh, uh, the consequences of um, uh, consequences of uh, the uh, that has to be consequences that has to be faced, that has to be faced by Antonio. At this right moment, the marriage should be conducted and the person should be really happy. Therefore, he is telling, cheer up. Okay, after the marriage. He can directly go towards Venice and save life of Antonio, his dear friend. Since you are dear crop, I will love you that. And let me hear me hear the letter of your friend. Portia says she will love Bassanio dearly because it is his friend Antonio who made sacrifices to win. Uh, Portia. So it is because of Antonio's sacrifices he would be able to, who Bassanio was able to uh, win Portia's love. Bassanio, he reads the letter. Sweet Bassanio, my ships have all miscarried. My creditors grew cruel. What is written in the letter? My dear Bassanio, all my ships are miscarried means the ships that had been set to Venice, Belmont, sorry, uh, which had been set to different places like uh, Mexico, Indies, etc. All had been miscarried. None of the ships returned. My creditors grew cruel. All the creditors of Antonio grow so mean. My estate is very low. His condition has become extremely bad. My bond to the Jew is forfeit. He had not been successful in fulfilling the bond of his friend, uh, of his of Jew, his enemy, that is Shylock. He was not able to pay to three thousand ducats within the within three months. And since in paying it, it is impossible. I should live. All my debts are clear between you and I. If I might but see you at my death. But th therefore there is no chance okay, that he will uh, uh, live further. He has no hope of living further because Antonio Shylock will take revenge and thereby he will try to kill Antonio. So he says, this is his last wish, that he needs to meet Bassanio. If he gets a chance to meet Bassanio, 
all the credits between Antonio and Bassanio shall be cancelled. Never, never, notwithstanding, use your pleasure. If your love do not persuade you to come, let us, let not my letter. So he says, he has to come to Venice and meet Antonio only if his wife uh, allows, that Portia allows. Otherwise, no need to bother about the content of the letter. He can remain happy over there in Belmont. So this is the content of the letter. Now, it has been, it is confirmed that Antonio has become a bankrupt. He had spent a lot of money uh, for business purpose. All his wealth had been spent. And it was not for one year, current year, but uh, it also had been sent to different places and none of the ships have returned and he became very, he became bankrupt. He could not pay the debt in within three months. Therefore now he has to face the consequences of his action. That is, Antonio has, Shiloh has the right to take, uh, uh, take revenge against Antonio and he will try to kill Antonio because according to the bond he has the right to take a pound of flesh from Antonio's body. Portia, O oh love, dispatch all business and be gone. O oh my dear love, stop, finish all your business over here. Go immediately towards Venice. Bassan, since I have your good leave to go away, I will make haste. Since you have given me permission, I will go all of a sudden. Till I come again, no pet shall ever be guilty of my stay. No rest shall interposter test us twain. Bassanio says, thus uh, he will be leaving uh, Bellman immediately because he got the permission from Portia. And that, therefore, he shall never be guilty of lying in the bed. Rather, he will trust in the company of Portia when he comes back successfully back. Twist as twin. They uh, leave. So this is the uh, this is all about Act Three, Scene One. In the scene, we have seen how Bassanio becomes successful in completing the work complete, in winning the winning Portia by choosing the correct casket. So this is a climax of casket story. There are a lot of things which we can revise here. Why Portia was trying to waste time by talking too long. The reason is Portia wanted to prolong the time, waste time, so that Bassanio can wait there for a long time and meanwhile Portia can direct him to reach towards the right casket. But Bassanio was not ready. Why? Because it is against his uh, uh, his self-confidence. He was very confident that he'll be able to choose the right casket. And then he allows, she allows Bassanio to go for the selectional casket. So how she expresses his emotions or what will be the mus what will music sound like if he wins? If Bassanio wins or chooses the right casket, music will be just like the uh, trumpet that is being played to welcome the newly elected king. Or the soft music or a happy song that is played the morning at the bridegroom's house. And what can be the music sound like when Bassanio loses a, uh, if, if Bassanio chooses the wrong casket, it will, it will be just like a swan-like end. It will be just a, such a, um, uh, such a uh, unpleasant music, which will be just like the song. Sad, sad song, song uh, sung by Swan before it dies. And now further coming. Why didn't Bassanio choose 
golden casket because according to him appearances are deceptive even this deception is being found in law through the unpleasant words of advocate and in religion sins are being forgiven as per the um, uh, courts of the holy book and at uh, external appearances of the people of the beauty of the people are also considered to be deceptive because according to him beauty can be purchased by weight or by money therefore he rejects golden casket and why did he refuse to choose the silver casket because silver is a common means of exchange between the people what attracts what was the attraction in led according to him he was attracted by the simplicity rather than external appearance of gold and silver therefore he chose the uh, lead casket after opening the casket he finds the uh, portrait of portia therefore that is a sign that he is he has selected the right casket and he is freely fortunate to um, marry portia we also have seen graciana who confesses his love for uh, confesses that he loves nerissa and it was also a bond between a, a, a promise between graciano and uh, nerissa that if only bassanio be successful in winning portia then nerissa will be ready to get married with graciano now bassanio bassanio gives a permission to graciano to get married or solemnize their marriage along with the marriage of Bassanio and Portia. After that, Celerino comes with the letter of Antonio. This letter makes Bassanio very sad. Seeing the facial changes and emotions of Bassanio, Portia interferes and she asks Bassanio the reason behind his uh, unhappiness so uh, Bassanio confesses that he was not having any wealth and whatever he appears to be is only with the help of Antonio and for winning Portia and coming to Belmont to choose the casket he had uh, taken the money from Antonio he had taken money from uh, Antonio and he has signed a bond uh, in order to get 3000 ducats and he took it from one of his enemies that is shylock so this sacrifice is being is the sacrifice of his dear friend antonio is being discussed over here he considers the letter as the body of his friend antonio and that words that are written as the open wound that is throwing life blood out of it because as per the letter we come to know that antonio become unsuccessful in retaining 3000 ducats back to antonio shylock on time because all the ships failed to return on time Therefore, Portia tells that speed up, conduct the marriage so that Bassanio will be able to pay a lot of wealth money, even 20 times the amount of 3,000 ducats to Shylock and save Antonio from the clutches of Shylock. Thereby, they uh, hurry up when with the permission Bassanio goes to Venice and in the letter it was written only if Portia accepts this proposal or allows him to come to Venice then only he needs to come and the last wish of Antonio is nothing but to uh, just meet his dear friend Bassanio 
so thereby all the credits that lie between Shylock and Anto sorry uh, between Antonio and Bassanio will be cancelled. So, what is the last wish of Antonio? He to meet his dear friend be before he dies. And he uh, Bassanio gets the permission from uh, Portia and he leaves towards Belmont. Sorry, Venice. Of Act Three, Scene One is uh, Scene Two is clear. Now let's get into Act Three, Scene Three. This is a very short scene. In this scene, we see Antonio who is trying to um, uh, request Shylock to cancel the bond and take the money, but Shylock remain adamant and insist on taking the bond. Okay, that is a pound of flesh from Antonio's body. Therefore, this scene takes place in Venice, Venice, a street, and uh, into the street enters Shylock, Celerino, Antonio, and the jailer. Jailer, Shylock. Jailer, look at him. He tells the jailer to look at Antonio. Tell me not of mercy. Don't ask me to show mercy to the, this person. This is a fool that lent out money gratis. Jailer, look at him. He speaks with sarcasm that this is a person. Who is the person? Antonio, who had been lending money without any interest. Now look at his condition. He is jailed. Antonio, hear me yet, good Shylock. Please have patience to listen to me, Shylock. Shylock, I will have my bond. Speak not, speak not against my bond. Don't tell me anything. No more request. He is very definite that he is going to take the bond. And he is not ready to listen anything with regard to the anything that is against the bond. Therefore he says, speak not anything against the bond. I have sworn an oath that I, have, I will have my bond. Because he has taken an oath that he will take the penalty as per the bond. Thou callest me dog before thou hast a cause. You have abused me or called me a dog when you were not having any reason to abuse in that way. But since I am a dog, beware of my facts. Since you consider me just like a dog, you beware of my teeth. The Duke shall grant me justice. Shylock is very, um, uh, very clear that Duke is going to grant him his justice. I do wonder, thou not his jailer, that thou art so bound to come abroad with him at his request. He says that he is completely surprised to see the jailer who has come along with him to make such a request. Okay, So he feels pity at Antonio who has come to make a request to have mercy on him. In fact, Shylock will never show mercy towards Antonio. Antonio, I pray thee Hear me speak. Shylock pleads, Antonio pleads Shylock to, uh, to listen to him. Shylock, I will have my bond. He says, he will take the bond. I will not hear thee speak. I am not at all ready to listen to you. I will have my bond and ther therefore speak no more. It is very clear, it is final that Shylock will take the bond, he will take the penalty. Therefore, he tells Antonio, speak no more, no more. There is no use of making any request to Shylock right now. I will not be made a soft and a bull-eyed fool. It's not a bull-eyed, dull-eyed 
fool to shake the head when relent and sigh and yield to Christian 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 intercessors he says he would not show pity or feel pity on such people or he will not be turned to be soft and pitiful by a Christians who try to make him a middle-aged person which means that Shylock shall never show any mercy towards Antonio I'll have no more speaking he is not at all interested in speaking or discussing anything with Antonio I will have my bond he remains adamant that he will take the bond he is not ready to listen anything that will be spoken by Antonio speaking this he exit the scene Celerino Celerino says it is the most impenetrable cur that ever kept with men he is the most cruel dog that has ever lived with human beings Antonio let him alone I will follow him no more with I will not follow him no more with bootless prayers he says is Antonio says uh, that he is not going to approach Shylock at all with useless requests he seeks my life his reason will i know what antonio shylock wants is antonio's life that is clear why he needs it that is clearly known to antonio i oft delivered from his forfeitures many that have at times made mourn to me therefore he hates me because he has helped many of his creditors who approached uh, uh, Antonio to save themselves from Shylock's, uh, Shylock's uh, from Shylock and whenever these people approached Antonio he has helped them to save themselves from Shylock because Shylock used to charge high interest on uh, his creditors and some of the creditors were not able to pay the sum of amount on time therefore they approached Antonio and he has paid them all, uh, all the way he could uh, help them and therefore they were saved Celerino I am sure the Duke will never grant his poor feature to halt he says that he believes that Duke will never allow Shylock take, to take the bond Antonio the Duke cannot deny the course of law but Duke can do cannot change the law of Venice it cannot be changed because it is already written in the bond that Antonio is bound to pay 3000 ducats uh, sorry bound to pay a pound of flesh if he is not able to pay the sum of amount within three months since it is being confirmed by the law this law cannot be changed by Duke for the community that strangers have with us in Venice with us in Venice if it be denied will much impeach the justice of the state because the foreigners in Venice uh, play uh, have uh, enjoy special privileges here and if they are denied of these privileges the the law of the Venice will be fastened. Therefore, Duke cannot change anything. As per uh, Duke cannot do anything to help Antonio because he the law of the Venice cannot be fastened. Since that the trade and the profit of the city consist of all nations since the profit of Venice depends upon upon the transactions they have with the foreigners 
uh, you cannot change the course of law. Suppose um, foreigners cannot enjoy the privileges that are being given to them, then naturally they will go away or they will not have or keep any relationship or business relationship with Venice and it will affect the profit of the state. Therefore, you cannot change the course of the law. Therefore, go. These griefs and losses have so baited me that I shall hardly spare a pound of flesh tomorrow, so my blood bloody creditor. Therefore, it is confirmed that by tomorrow, Antonio shall have to pay a pound of flesh from his body to his uh, cruel uh, creditor, Shylock. Well, jailer, on. Jailer, go, uh, come on. Pray God, Bassanio, come to see, see me pay his debt and then I care not. So he requests that uh, Bassanio should be present there when Shylock pays the debt to Sh sorry when Antonio pays the debt to Shylock. That is the only prayer that Antonio has. Nothing else is cared by him. That he wants to meet Bassanio, his dear friend, before he, before he dies. So this is all about Act Three, Scene Three. In this scene, we see Antonio who is trying to uh, persuade or impeach, request Shiloh to show some mercy, show some concession with regard to the bond. But Shiloh remained very adamant. He says that at any cost, he sh shall show any mercy to Antonio because he needs to take the pound of flesh from Antonio's body. Okay? And Duke also cannot save Antonio because it will be against the law of the Venice because the, the foreigners have special privileges which they enjoy in Venice suppose uh, Duke goes against it and then it will affect the profit of the state therefore Duke cannot do anything hence Antonio uh, prepare himself to pay the penalty that is a pound of flesh to Shylock and his only desire is nothing but to meet his dear friend. So this is a request from me to you all. Please do comprehend the passages that are given in the workbook. Okay, that is very necessary. And I will discuss each and every question and its right answers when the school reopens. But your homework is to complete comprehend the passages that are given based on the scenes in your workbook that is compulsory so when you come back to school you you make sure that you will comprehend all the passages but don't comprehend any passages uh, just copying it down from internet or anywhere rather what do you understand based on your understanding please do comprehend and write it in your workbook or in the rough notebook later when you come to school I will discuss each and every question that is being given in the workbook. Okay, that is all for today. Meet you in the next class. Bye.